look, you can't have winners unless you have losers, right? Um, you can't have heroes unless you have weaklings um, who, who gave in, who, who betrayed, who were disloyal. Right? You can't have one of those without the other. That hero narrative, you see, these guys are able to say, we're strong. We're the tough guys. We held out, right? Well, how tough are we? Well, look at these guys, right? We suffered the same thing that they did. They gave in, these dissenters, right? They caved. They gave up classified information. Right? They curried favor with their guards. They met with these communists from the states who came over to visit them. You get the point, right? We, the proof that we're tough is the existence of them. The dissenters kind of dialectically become very much a part of the construction of the heroes. So in a lot of ways, American, Americans were able to put the war in the rear view mirror, um, not just chronologically, but kind of in a twisted way as a war that we won. Um, you know, we persevered to the end. We stuck it out until we got these heroes back. And, and now we can move on. When I say it, it it's kind of twisted, right? <laughs> Because it never, because it is twisted, it kind of stays stuck in the craw of American memory. I mean, there's something about that war in Vietnam that just won't go down, right? It stays, it stays there. And um, a lot of conservatives in America are still running politically on that. I mm -hmm. mean, you look at Donald Trump's hats. Make America great again. Well, when was it great? <laughs> in their minds. It was largely before the war in Vietnam. Right? It was before the war in Vietnam. And we got to go back. Somehow we got to go back. We got to re-remember in some way. That's the relevance, I think, of the book that Tom and I have written. <laughs>